Yesterday in class, we started a new project um, to use the BLM, the data that we collected on the Three Creeks allotment for the Spokane BLM district. Okay, there was a lot of chaos in class, and I would say it started with the fact that a um, few teams sat down and really tried to figure out what it is the final report is going to look like. What is it we're going to need to create this final report? So in every project in this class, I'm going to send you a memo like this. It's going to give you data. It's going to give you information about what, what the final report needs to have in it and when it is due. So let's focus, 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 focus. Um, there's really not all that much that I asked for. All this information at the beginning is really kind of not important. What um, the report asked for was a description of the current vegetation community examined. Okay, we're going to need that. <clears throat> we're also going to, okay, then all this is just about ground squirrels. The second thing that we were asked for was yearly change in frequency of plants from 2014 to 2015. And then third, I asked you to compare the vegetation results for canopy cover and frequency. Okay. So uh, the rest of this is really not to focus on right now. We'll need that later. This talks about the data, what it's going to look like. I better keep this website because I'm going to need that to get the data. And there's a kind of an important point embedded in this third paragraph, which it asks you to compare the frequency for at least three plants, blue bunch wheatgrass, cheatgrass, and woolly plantain. And it's going to, I'm asking you to compare it with a chi-square test, because that's about the only way to really use frequency data to see if it's significantly changed from one season to the next. And now I can get rid of this, because that's not important. I can come back to get the details of the project. I just want to focus on what it is that I'm going to need to analyze in the data to get the answers that I need. Okay, so here we have this. Remember that I need to uh, compare frequency for three plants. I'm going to put that up here so I don't lose that. Oh, get this end. There we go. I want blue bunch wheatgrass. I want to look at cheatgrass at minimum, and I want to look at woolly plantain. Okay, so despite the fact that I wrote a beautiful memo with all the details, this is what we need to focus on for the um, data. I need a description of the plant community. I need to look at frequency for these major plants from 20, 14 to 15, and I need to look at the canopy cover and frequency methods. And those are in the data that is located at this website. So here comes up my uh, web browser, and it's taking me to uh, a Dropbox, and it's loading the data. Okay, so here's the data. I can take a good look at it, but I can't do anything with it. So that's fine, but not very useful. If you hit the open uh, key when you're in Dropbox, it will open the file in an, uh, an online version of Excel which allows you to do some things, but it's not very powerful. So what I prefer to do is download the data. It's going to ask me if I want to just go ahead and start it in Excel, which I'm going to do. So now the data should start. There it is, in Excel, in on my computer. So probably the first thing to do is to file save as on my computer. I'm just going to put on my desktop. Save often. I'm sure you've learned that a thousand times. So I'm just going to put assignment for great. save often. So now here's the file on my computer, local. Uh, what I notice is that I have four types of data. I have nested frequency from 14, frequency from 15. I have uh, Daubenmeyer cover plots, and I have the six-point cover, which um, that wasn't asked for in the memo, but you never know. We might need it later when we're writing up this report and we want to describe the community or something. So that's what we've got. Now I'll go back to our game plan. Now I know that I have the data to look at the community. I have the data to do frequency from 14 to 15, and I can compare canopy cover and frequency methods. So now I am ready for the project. At the beginning of any project, it's really important to make sure you know where the goalpost is. And it's in the memo somewhere, but it might be hidden. So just take some time at the beginning of the project to make sure you know where you're headed. So we're ready for the project now.